Hey, welcome to the template and replacement tags marketing video. We're going to get into some of our more advanced features in this tutorial, so hold on to your hats, people. Let's get started by telling you where you can access the template page. Just go right up here under marketing in the header bar and select email templates from the drop down. That'll bring you to this lovely page where you'll see all the templates you've created, the ones that we've created for you in Hilo and the templates your upline has shared with you. You can filter between the types by using these buttons up here. All right, let's get going. Click on the create a new email template button up here and we'll be on our way. Okay. Just some standard information over here. You're going to enter a template name. We're going to be making an auto ship template. So we'll call it auto ship template and we'll call it fun because you may have different versions going out to people with different styles. Uh, that's totally up to you. The template type is going to be custom because it's not a product template. Those are how we differentiate here. And these buttons down here are going to determine who can see and use this template. Click personal if you want this template to be private to only you or click shared if you want this to be shared with everyone in your downline who's accepted your invitation to connect in Hilo. You can change this later on if you change your mind about your privacy settings. So it's nothing set in stone. Now, before we move on, just a note about templates and then another about sharing. There are many uses for templates. They're great for product launches, promotions, newsletters or auto ship reminders like the one that we're making here. The benefit of making them in here is that once you mark that template as shared, it is automatically shared with your downline. There's no other steps to take. And by you as the leader spending the time to create them for your team, you're doing 90 to 100% of the work for them. And that frees them up to focus on the important stuff. You know, those activities that actually make you money. No one gets paid to make templates. So we should be making this as plug and play as possible and helping you duplicate. That's what we did this for. Okay. I'm getting off my soapbox now. Let's build this baby. Now the WYSIWYG jig editor right here is basic editor for text-based emails. We're not going to go into that here because most everyone's going to be using the email template builder. So let's click that button right now. Okay. Now we're rocking. We have our template page on the right and your building blocks in this column on the left. Notice these tabs up here, blocks, content, and style. We'll get to those in a second, but I just wanted to bring them to your attention. So we're going to start by choosing our first block. You'll see we have all these different layouts, some with images, some without. I like to have an image at the top of all of my templates. I think it makes it more eye catching. Just a side note. Another thing to consider is that every one of you is a brand. So you may want to consider standardizing your emails, your YouTube page, your Facebook page, etc., with a color scheme or an image. That way, whenever someone sees your colors or your logo, they know it's you right away. Just something to think about. Anyway, so I want, an I want an image and I've chosen this block here with the 50, 534 by 200 pixel image. I just think it looks really good. Now, this isn't a super long template, so this will probably be enough space for the body of my email. And I like to close all of my emails with a photo and contact info signature area. I like this one over here. You click the add button and that'll throw that right at the bottom of my template. You can also drag these in if you prefer. You can drag them into your template. You can drag them once they're in and reposition them. But if you're working in order, clicking the add button at the bottom is just as easy. It's totally up to you. It's pretty flexible. Okay. So we've got our template laid out. Now let's get our images in. Make sure you save your template regularly. There's not an auto save on this page. So please get in the habit of clicking the save button up here. Uh, it'll save you a lot of time. For images, now we're going to get our images in. We're going to click this image icon up here in the gray template menu bar. This will bring up our gallery menu on the left. If you click on the gallery tab, you'll see the images you've uploaded in the past. See my picture is already in there since I've used it in other templates. But if I wanted to add another photo, I'm going to click in this box up here and that'll allow me to browse my files and find the image I want. There it is. I can click on the file name and it gets added to the gallery. I have two of them in there now. Now that my images are in, all I have to do is drag them over into my template. I'll take my header image that I just imported and drag it over the image placeholder. You'll see it turns orange once it's in place and release the mouse and there it is. Super easy. And now I'll drag my photo into the signature photo placeholder here. Cool. All of our photos are in. Next, we'll enter our text. You can either enter it directly in here, but to save time, I've already typed out my message in Word. Didn't think you all wanted to watch me type out an entire message. So we'll just 
scoot on over to the Word document. We'll select and then copy all of that text and go back to our template and we're going to paste it into the body of our email. Now here's the really cool thing. Now we're going to make this template dynamic, meaning we're going to insert some of what we call replacement tags into our template, which will personalize this template for whoever it's being sent to and whoever is sending the template. Here we go. So we're going to start our opening of our email. So we're going to, we want to say hi someone. So we're going to type hi up here because it's the opening of the email. We're going to type a space and then we're going to click on this replacement tags button up here in the header bar. And that will bring up a modal with some crazy looking stuff in it. Don't be scared. Uh, this will all make sense in a second. See this column of text on the right? replaces your first name, replaces your last name. Then down here, replaces contacts first name, replaces contacts last name, and so on. That represents what you want in your email. Your first name, meaning the person who is sending the email. Or the contacts first name, meaning the first name of the person you're sending the email to. The tag over here to the left of each of these is what you'll copy and paste into your email. So let's start with the opening we started a second ago. We type hi and then a space. We want to say hi and then the contact's first name, right? So if you're emailing Brenda, the email will say hi Brenda. So let's copy the tag to the left of replaces contact's first name. Right? So we're going to select it, copy it, and now we'll close out of the modal and go back to our template and paste that tag after the space we put next to hi in our opening. And then we're going to throw a comma right at the end of that because that's good grammar. This means that you can send this template to anyone on your list or multiple people at once using the bulk email feature and they'll all receive a properly personalized email from you. Now that does it for the body of our email. Now let's go down to the signature. And guys, I know this video is on the longer side, but I really want you to have all the tools you need to use this feature to its fullest. So down in the signature, we'll do something similar, but this time it's to benefit the people you're sharing the template with. So let's scroll down and click in the title box. That's where we'll put the sender's name. Now let's click on replacement tags again, and we'll select the tag next to replaces your first name right? So the, choose the tag to the left of that, copy it, go back to our email, and paste it in that title box, right? So there's the tag. We're going to hit space again, and then we'll go back to the replacement tags window and copy this text, the tag next to replaces your last name. And we'll just repeat that. We're going to go back and paste it after the space in the title bar. And we'll go through this for all the information that you want to include in your signature. Maybe you want an email or a phone number if you choose. So we'll delete all of the sample text, that placeholder text, go back in, and we're going to grab the email tag, throw that in there, return down, go back to the replacement tags, we'll grab the tag for your phone number, We'll put that in there. And now we also have this other thing where if you see how it double spaces to single space, just hold down the shift key and hit enter and you'll single space. So if you would like them closer together, that's how you would do that. We also have this button here. Now I like to rename the button. Um, I like to say visit my website. Just a kind of a fun thing to do. You can get rid of the button if you don't like it. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But for now, we'll say visit my website. We're going to make that bold just to make it look a little bit nicer. And now I want to use that button to send them to my website or to my team member's website. So how do I do that? I go back to replacement tags and you see it says replaces your personal link. Copy that tag. Go back to the template. But now we're not going to put it here because that's text. We're going to put it over here on the left in the content column. Find the link space. So it's just like putting in a hyperlink. You paste it here and now you have an active button. And that button now will route to your personal website or the team member sending this template. 
Now, if you don't want the button, you can switch the slider to the off position and it takes the button away. But I like the button, I'm leaving it. And if you wanted your photo, say, on the bottom, on the other side, you click this button in the middle and it flips it. Although I like it the other way, so I'm flipping it back. If you'd like your button to match the color scheme on the rest of your email, if you wanna, you, you wanna customize this a little bit more, click over to the style area in the header bar. You're gonna look at the button section, button color, you click that circle right there Select the color you want, we'll, we'll choose teal. And then say you like, you know what, I really like teal with white lettering. So text color, you change to white. And there you go, and you can do that. All of that's the same for the paragraph and title can be changed the same way. If you wanna change your text color or anything else for the look of your email, you can customize it here. Clicking on the block will bring up the appropriate style menu. So if you wanted to change things for the top, you click on this one. I don't want this title under the picture. It serves no purpose. So I click on the block. I see the whole thing is selected so I can control all of it. I go back to the content menu by clicking up here and I move the show title slider to the off position and it's gone. All right, we made a template. <laughs> we also wanna, I'm gonna get rid of that button too because that does not belong there. Okay, no reason for two buttons. So we did it. We're gonna save this template and now it's done. Now you've done all the work for you and your entire team. All right, so let's recap real fast. So by inserting these tags, we've now made a template where the system will insert the name of the person you're sending the email to and it will also insert the first name, last name, email address, phone number, and personal link of whoever is sending the email, either you or the team members you've shared the template with. The system gets this information from the data you've entered in each person's contact card. They get the consultant or the person who's sending the information from the information you've entered in the My Account section, which is up here at the right. Um, the My Account section is very important to keep up to date um, because that's where all of the link information and, and actual person's information comes from. And you can select it right from up here. The only thing each consultant will have to actually update on their own is their photo. Um, they can just go in, change that. Once they do, they can save a copy of the template for themselves by renaming it and everything will be personalized for them and then that's their template. They won't have to update the photo every time. One time will do it. And they can also tweak the language to sound more like themselves when they save that copy so they can have a personalized template but you've done a lot of the work for them. Okay, I know that was a lot. <laughs> Don't be scared. This gets to be second nature very fast. Just stick with it. And thank you for sticking with me through this tutorial. You guys rock.